Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with XCOM 2. That's right, Commander. No, uh, XCOM 2, we're on episode 12. And episode 11 was fantastic. One of my favorite episodes so far. So, that being said, let's hop in, get to scan and get some people out of the med bay, and get moving on things. This is a destroyed combo uh, convoy, not combine. It's weird. Weird. I'm thinking of the giant uh, propeller prop thingies. Aren't those called com combine fans or something like that? Maybe I'm thinking something different. I don't know. It's totally fine. All right, so we're going to go. I didn't really want to investigate, but okay, we'll, we'll do that. I hit it, though. I did click the button. That was not my intent originally. But we'll scan. We'll get some... Oh, dear. Now what? Oh, you're going to make up for the one that we stole from you. All right, that's cool. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. Yeah, you may or may not have told me this before. All right, we'll eventually get that done. This research can only further our advances, Commander. Assign new research. All right, pause and read as always, folk. Pause and read. All right, so now we can get the advanced Psy amp, and we can build the Psy lab as well. The Psy Lab will allow rookie soldiers to train as Psy operatives, substituting standard soldier training for the new intense mental ordeal that will unlock their latent psionic talents. Good. And the advanced Psy Amp. This evolved version of the Psy Amp channels the, the user's psionic energy far more clearly, enabling greater psionic strength in our operatives. Psy offense and psionic attack damage of some abilities is improved when carrying this advanced amplifier. Interesting. All right, alien encryption, five days time, magnetic weapons are 11, 12, four days for the MEC, and the muton is five. All right, I think we're gonna go with the MEC first. I know the alien encryption's high up on the priority. I would like to have a little bit of a better understanding. I'm assuming that we get something out of this. These so we're gonna roll out with this. units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. That's good. You better include her, otherwise I'm going to have to lay the smack down on your little bald head and knock them glasses right off your face. It'll be so fine, guys. I admire the courage and tenacity displayed by our troops in the field. They face a well-armed, well-trained enemy, and yet they never waver in their loyalty to the cause. This is true, mostly because we kill all dissenters. We've learned from the aliens that that is the way to keep people in line. If people are not happy, are you kidding me? Come on now. All right, Advent rule rule checkpoints. Uh, Advent stifles the movement of resistance resources, decreasing the supplies of the next supply drop by 50%. Oh, that's okay. I'm fine with that. It's not ideal, but it's it's fine. Hey, Tinker. Proving grounds, experimental ammo complete. Capped with a highly combustible mini charge, dragon rounds do bonus damage to all targets and can even set some alight. Hey, we got one thrown into our inventory, nice. Let's, uh, we still have much in the way of cash. Let's finish off this real quick. Hey, he is a grenadier as requested. Carry on. Actually, let's view the soldier. All right, looking solid, brother. Looking solid. Prepare to go in and die a whole bunch of times. That does seem rather legit. Um, we're gonna go back to the Gorilla Tactics School of Tactitude and Gorillaness, and we are going to um, let's take a look at you. I don't remember what I want to do with you. Does it show me my soldier? It doesn't show me my soldier. Well, um. Mm, we're gonna go to the armory. I'm sorry, guys. Just gotta give me a minute here. It should be like thoroughly apparent what I want him to be once we look at him. And it's not even sort of a little bit. Perhaps he was just a regular soldier and he can do whatever he wants. He can just level up. However, I think that's what it was with him. I know what I want to do with Battle Unit Three. Uh, Cold Wars, who we just looked at. What about Wei Ting Sten? Oh, she just looks like a pretty generic soldier as well. Hmm. Well. 
I'm not sure exactly what I want to roll out with now. Hmm. It's a little bit tough. A little bit tough. Eduardo? Eduardo Vargas. Ah, we could probably do something with Eduardo. We'll throw him in there. We'll make him... I don't know. We'll figure out what we're going to make him. We're going to throw Eduardo into the... Into the machine, as they say, and train him as a specific type of soldier. And we'll eventually change his name to match somebody else. Alright, we need a few more rangers, and probably a few more specialists. I know what I'm going to do. Alright, you're going to be... No, I changed my mind. Alright, we're going to make you a ranger. It's fine, I have a plan, guys. It's not a good plan, but I have a plan, so be aware of that. Hold on, what was that? Let me go back there real quick. Oh yeah, that's right, we could buy other stuff. When's the squad size 2 come out? Requires the rank of Capitan, but we don't have that with it with it just yet. Let's see here. Soldiers will be more likely to bleed out than to die outright. That's pretty good. Uh, Ranger Captain attacks against flanked flanked enemies. Flanked enemies. Flanked enemies deal plus three damage. Ten percent critical hit. Uh, gain ten aim and the ability to critically hit when taking Overwatch shots. Awesome. And the biggest booms. Explosives can inflict critical damage. Wow, that's all some super sexy stuff, guys. Alright, stuff to be looking forward to. Alright, let's get done with what we're doing here. Let's see if we can't get ourselves into a mission and get some murder on. Power relay. Yay, Operational. for the power relay. I'm going to view the facility. It's so shiny and beautiful. It is so nice. All right, um, we can actually put them here to increase the power. Seems pretty cool. I'm just curious. I just want to see it right now. How much does it go up? Ooh, we get plus five? That's pretty cool. Now, we're going to pull it out right now. We don't need you here, buddy, but, but that's still pretty awesome. So we can actually, if we get enough engineers, we can actually have two per... That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. We can upgrade? What does this mean? We can upgrade it and get more power and add an additional workstation to the power. Oh, oh, okay, that's uh, I got you, I got you. That's how you upgrade it. Okay, all right, cool, cool. Let's go back here. Let's um, get you to. We've already cleared out the alien machinery, right? Or did we not do that? I think we did not do that. Can we clear out the alien debris? I think we can because it's directly beneath and I don't think we have to build the stupid uh, tunnel down things anymore, which is pretty nice. Oh, there's an exposed power coil over here. That sounds really cool. We might go for that one next. Maybe we just... Oh, there's another one over here. Well, either way, we're going to probably do one of those two things and get like power relays down here. Maybe move one there. Maybe it'll be stronger. I don't know how it works, guys, but... It's definitely got some uh, potential to be amazing. All right, let's go and get this handled. We're only going to get half of what we were promised here. Resource located. 57, we're going to fly back to Resistance HQ right now. Course for Eastern United States. We'll try to pull in a few more troops, hopefully some that we have named. I know we don't have like 100,000 people named right now, so there is that. I would rather just go this way and do it. We can't afford to recruit anyone right now, which is a bit sad. All right, we'll go to Armory, we'll go to Recruit. I don't know if we have to come back to Recruit. I don't think so. No, all these people seem to be the same people, so... Yeah, we don't need any of these guys. Sorry! All right, um, let's We're take a look. an unsecured transmission from some clown calling himself Van Dorn. Doesn't sound like the kind of recruit we're looking for. Really? What? Wait, wait, wasn't... One of these guys, Van Dorn? Thought I saw Van Dorn. Maybe it was DeGraff I saw. It's pretty funny. Alright. We're gonna... Why is one unavailable? Oh, because he's training. Alright, so all of our troops are available. We're at, I guess, our strongest point, And we're gonna go and do battle now. With this. We're gonna actually take on our mission. And take care of the black site. That's gonna be our... Our big play here. It's gonna be 125 I supplies. I, I have my doubts as to whether or not our, our crew can do this. But we're gonna give it our best shot. We're going to rub our hands together, we're going to crack our knuckles, and we're going to prepare. Alright, Face Tank is leading the squad again. We have Stone Cold Killer here. I almost want to change his name to Stone Cold. Uh, we don't need you for this one. I'm sorry, Momo, you did well. We got Stitch with us. We got Overstep, which is pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to bring the Colonel. Alright, so we're going to bring the Colonel. 
along. Um, hmm. Now the question is, do we bring Tack or do we bring uh, Grimlock? Uh, I like the idea of having two of these guys. They seem to do a tremendous amount of damage and they hurt quite badly. Alright, uh, let's take a quick look at each character here. Alright, you have 59 will, you have 58 will, 63, and then we're into the other people. Alright, hold on. Oh, we're backing that way now. That's weird. Alright, uh, Colonel, you have 84 will, you're crazy. You have 65, you have 67 will, and you have the extra health. Oh wait, no, that's that's something different. Apparently, while concealed, gain plus twenty-five bonus aim, and that doesn't—that's not right. That's not what your psi conditioning does, or your PCI thing. It's conditioning. It's plus one. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Oh, it tells me right here. PCS. There we go. Um, hmm. Anyone else? No. Okay. Well, you don't need more will, buddy. You are the most willful person I've ever met in my life. You're at 59, you're at 58, you're at 63. You're pretty high up in the will thing as well. Where is... Where in the world did we put Odie? Odie's pretty high up in the will as well. Maybe we'll put it up on Stitch. Stitch seems to be the one that's lacking the most right now. Where Did I, did I pass you, buddy? There you are. Alright, Terrence, let's give you one of these. Personal combat sim. Let's put that up there. Bam. Alright, weapon upgrade. Let's see what we have available. Holy crap, we have a lot of stuff available. Alright, we got one free reload. Um, this shot's do damage. That seems legit. I really think I want to do that one. Because if you think about it, he's going to be the one that's probably most likely to miss shots due to the fact that he is the medic. So I think he's going to be the one to get that. And the extra reloads and other various things I think is going to be a better play. I don't think we're going to want to name his weapon right yet, so we're going to go with that. Now we need to find coffee shop. Okay, let's see what kind of weapon upgrade we can get for you, buddy. We'll change out your color and stuff soon. Alright, the laser sight will increase his hit chance by 5% and better with proximity. That... The closer it comes, I don't... Hmm, critical hit chance. I don't think that's really something we want, necessarily. Uh, let's see here. First reload doesn't cost an action. So there's a 5% chance that the cost will not cost an action. Hmm. I think we're going to just go with the laser sight. Why not? It's always nice to have a laser sight for your sniper rifle, though I suppose it's kind of a moot point if you think about it. Do you really need a laser sight for a sniper rifle? You already have a scope, right? So, to what point does... Eh. It's fine. Alright, um... Let's go back. I think we're gonna probably go back into the weapon. And we're gonna have to change the color, because they like to reset the color for some reason on these. I don't particularly know why. Alright, then we're gonna go with that color, and then we're gonna do a weapon pattern of... This camouflage seems legit. Alright, buddy, there you go. Probably should've gone with that stuff. Hmm. I know, guys. I'm doing super dress-up Barbie stuff right now. It's a little bit sad. It's a little bit sad. Is it this? Is it the arid? I think it was. Now I need to get the color a little bit darker. I think it's too light. Uh, uh, actually, it's fine. Alright. We're gonna roll with it. There you go, buddy. There you go. That's nice. I like it. Alright. I think everybody's got something. Um, except for... Let's get you... A weapon upgrade as well, buddy. We could get you a blue weapon too. Not sure why your weapon color is that. Oh, you already have a scope on you. All right, well, never mind, man. Never mind. Okay, that's cool. You can roll out with that. Let's uh, let's get you a pattern on it though. There you go. A little bit of alien gunnery. I like it. All right, where's Overstep? There you are. There you are, Overstep. What you doing, buddy? Let's get you going with this. We're gonna go with the... Is it not the hair trigger. We're gonna go with the auto loader. Allow you to reload. 
Very nice, and of course we're going to give you your white weapon back because you like it. And we're going to go with the classic, uh, yeah, the classic, that's perfect. There we go, he is set, he is ready, he is eager, our squad is here, it is good to go, and we're going to hop in and get going on it, guys. This is the A-team so far, I guess, until we get a psionic trooper, and then we're going to probably end up dropping Odie. That way we have a full group of five. And then when we get six people, we'll be able to add Odie back. Or whoever replaces him if he does end up dying, or if somebody just, like, he gets wounded and we have a lot of people that excel or surpass him in some way, then maybe he falls back. I don't know. I don't know. I do plan to cycle a lot of troops in and out of this, so be aware of that, guys. Right now, I'm just trying to get that edge, because I... The local resistance oh, wait. Us how to access the Advent Black Site. The aliens worked hard to keep this place under the radar, and we don't know what we're going to find in there. Keep your heads up. Expect heavy opposition. So my plan is eventually get enough people that are, like, high rank that we can bring in rookies and do missions with the rookies and get them higher ranked while having one or two veterans with them. That's the way I like to play. I can't always do that. I can't always promise it's going to be a thing. And oftentimes in XCOM, you get to that point where like every mission is a death mission and you need to bring the best of the best of the best. So we'll see how it plays, but we're going to try to bring the, the lesser guys on easier missions and get them going. So I will continue to add people to the game, to the roster and everything else. So just be aware of that. If you haven't made it yet, it doesn't mean you're not going to make it. And it doesn't mean that I've... Uh, Ignored you, skipped over you, or just chose other people. I chose three or four people I wanted to throw in right away. Hold on. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. Please don't give me a timer. Oh, we have to actually do the whole thing and escape. Okay. Please don't give me a timer on this. Yes. All right. So I'm super happy. Anyway, guys and gals, chances are in this particular mission, we're probably going to end up not finishing it because we only have 15 minutes. But I'm okay with that. We'll let it drag out a little bit. But yeah, and junk and stuff and stuff and junk. I have no idea what I was saying. It's fine. We're just going to pretend like it didn't didn't matter, it didn't exist. But I do plan to bring a lot of rookies along, guys and gals. And if I have skipped over, that's what I was saying. If I have, if on. you've signed up and I have skipped over things, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is, and you're just going to have to accept it and move on. All right, sorry about that, folks. Uh, the uh, wife called, and she's bringing me food home. So, you know, food is delicious. So, generally speaking, you want to have some of that in your face. And perfect timing, because this is going to be the last recording I get to do for a while. So, I will be hitting it hard and heavy at later. But for now, this is it. So, perfect. I can eat and then be miserable while I continue to render and upload a whole bunch of stuff. And it's going to be fine. It's going to be super nice. I don't know about super nice. All right, I'm trying to find a good spot to go. I suppose that's an vamos, okay vamos, spot. Vamos, vamos, vamos. I think that means hurry, 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 or quick, quick, quick. Something like that. Something along those lines. My, uh, my Espanol is a bit rusty, I'm not gonna lie. Move into position. It is a tad bit rusty. A little bit rusty. Alright, we're going to go, overwatch go, with our go, pistol. Go. We're gonna bring Stitch on down here. Go, go, go. Get Stitch into position. Now... I've been thinking about this for a little while, guys. There's a lot of bonuses and good things that we can gain from hacking. And I feel as though it would actually behoove me to hack quite a few people or a few things. But there's always a risk when you go to hack. Sometimes it's going to be something super detrimental, sometimes not so bad. But, of course, keeping like an enemy alive and the fact that all of the missions are super rushed, it's a little bit challenging. So on a mission where we have to like evacuate like this one, this would be ideal for me to spend any and all time I can hacking as much as I possibly can. So we'll try for that. We'll see. We will see. All right, we're going to go into Overwatch concealed mode and see what happens. They seem to be on patrol, but not directly toward us. If the snake is still within vision, we're going to go for the kill on it. All right, I think... Well, I don't... Hmm... Alright, should be able to move here without aggroing anybody. Advent has expanded their rail network to touch every that? city center they've built. Sorry. And this looks like the end of the line, at least for this area. Okay, well there's no enemies over there. I thought for sure there was going to be. I'm like, ah, oh, I might have messed up. No, what have I done? Who's on first? And all that. Odie, you have like the very, very, very littlest of movement ranges. It's not fantastic. 
Don't worry, you'll be able to go soon. We're gonna get Stitch into position maybe over here. Might not be terrible. It's outside of their visual range as well. It's a good thing they don't have trip wires and other various things in their way. Oh, I love how the uh, weapon upgrades actually show up down here. I'm sure we've noticed this before, but I never made mention of it. I actually did notice this before, guys. I have seen it, but I had not actually said anything about it, so I figured now would be a good time to do so. Moving out. All right, we'll hop on down here with Liara. She's got a pretty limited movement range, too, but she was up higher on something, so... Roger. I've got my we're going to start it off with Coffee Shop, and we're going to actually try with the Deadeye attack here, and we're going to go on the Serpent and go for the one-shot kill here. See what we've got. And boom goes the... Oh, we missed. That is so disappointing. Well, let's see what kind of recovery we got with all of our guns ablazing. Alright, you're gonna... A little thin man creature of doom. Alright, Stitch says he's got this guy on lockdown. Oh, does he? Oh, we missed, but we still got the three damage. I'm loving it, guys. Alright, the snake is down, and I believe the last guy should also not be able to go down. Was that really the four other people firing? Uh-oh. Well, they're not a oh, I said they're not aware of us yet, but they are now. Well, things just got a little bit more complex. It's not the end of the world yet. Things could go off the rails pretty quick. We're going to get stunned again. Oh, that's so annoying. Whoa, that did way more damage. What in the world? It did, like, 47 damage to me. I don't... It did one damage, and then somehow it did an extra four. Okay. Yeah, that, that's not that's not bullcrap whatsoever. That's totally normal and legit. I just don't understand sometimes, guys. I really don't. Oh, I should have healed him. Well, that was kind of a dumb move. Alright, well... There's a lot of bad Juju Magumba going on right now. What do we have? We have a shot on that guy. Alright, you may be a Stone Cold Killer, but you missed that shot to start us up in a super advantageous position. And then you make that shot to make up for it, so... There is that. However, I don't think that actually made up for it. It looked like it might have, but... Gotta say, I'm not really feeling it. Alright, I... I guess we're gonna maybe fall back and do overwatches? I, I mean, we're gonna get hit by... by that guy. The sectoid is just gonna destroy our souls. So I don't know exactly what to do at this point. Like getting oh face tank is actually still stealthed. Hmm. Moving on target location. I'll move up a little bit here. We're gonna go into Overwatch Save mode. Overwatch. Probably gonna go into Overwatch. Overwatch. We're gonna back up with Torch. It seems like the only play that's viable right now. Again, it's still not ideal, but Don't it's it's what we're gonna have to do. Good old Colonel RPG got wrecked. He got stabbed like twice. I don't know how he got stabbed twice. Because it said one damage, and then all of a sudden, boom, five. And I'm like, what? It was one. It's like it, it registered the critical hit after the fact or something. I don't know what it did. All I know is I'm not a fan. I am not a fan of how that played out. I'm also not a fan of how that didn't actually do anything. I'll get him next time. All right, is this going to be a mind control thing? A panic or what? Are we going to resist it? Panicked. I can live with that. Just hunker down, buddy. Oh, God, what are you doing? No, don't go there. What are you... What? Why? Oh, God in heaven. Stay clear of those turrets. We're still not entirely sure if they're fully automated or remotely triggered. Yeah, I don't really think it matters. It's all bad. It's literally all bad. Hey, spotted flanked enemy. Ah, oh, crap. All right. Well, we're gonna roll out over here. The colonel's gonna have to start taking some damage uh, on, put some damage on these people. Not take the damage. That doesn't make any sense. All right. We have to throw it there. Otherwise, we're gonna miss the, the healthier of the individuals. We'll flink you guys down. It's gonna be pretty tremendous damage there. All right. 
So as soon as the game registers that we did some horrible, awful things to people, we're going to go for our 82 shot. We're going to hope to hit it this time. We hit the last one. We missed the first one. That was a big thing. Alright, so that's done. Target neutralized. Good job. We'll have to get you to reload, brother. We'll have to get you to reload. We're going to scoot on up, and we're going to throw out our heal, more than likely. We could also do... What is the revival protocol? Stun panicked, or no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go with the aid protocol. And we're going to put it onto good old Torch there. He definitely needs some of the uh, robot love in here. It's weird. It sounds very disturbing when I say it that way. But it's also not inaccurate in any way. Okay, and it is finally up to our gal pal Liara here to finish the world Moving off. I'm not a fan of this situation, by the way, guys. If you are unaware... Oh, we got a repeater. What does that do? Uh, this adds a small chance that any successful shot will instantly kill the target? Holy crap. That's pretty legit. Got it. Alright, let's end you. Because, uh, from what I can tell so far... These guys have no direct attacks. It's all psionically based attacks. So, I think, worst case scenario, we get mind controlled? But I could be totally wrong. I think that's the worst case scenario. So, the mind control should come out right now. I don't think there's any actual damaging abilities. But we're about to find out if that's true or not. Can she resist whatever's happening? Oh, it respawned the guy that she's standing on top of. Because that's totally not super abnormal in any way. Alright, the panic is removed. I think we're fine, guys. Honestly, I don't think there's much of an issue here. Gonna move here. It's a little terrifying. Pretty sure we're gonna annihilate your face. Oh, yeah, look, guys, there's a guy right there. He's gonna shoot me. Stop him. Nope, not happening, buddy. You are going down like a sweet muffin. Alright guys, we're going to eliminate this alien, and then we're probably going to end up backing off from there. Oh, that's right, that instantly kills him too. I actually forgot that. I'm also still terrified of whatever that turret can do to me up there. Are we in vision of the turret? I don't think so, but I don't know for sure. Alright, we'll reload our weapon there. We'll send tickles on down the line a little bit. What? 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 You? You're standing on top. Why are you on top of a person? That shouldn't be an impossible thing. On Overwatch. I don't know what's happening, guys. It's fine. On we'll move forward. Uh, we see that up there. Can we hack that? Is that a thing we can do? I don't think so. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to move out of the way okay. of the thing. So it shouldn't have vision of me. And then in the next little bit, we'll actually go and try and kill that thing. Which means climbing up there and shooting it, I think. So I'm going to go over here and try that. Whew! Crazy stuff. Man, she climbs ladders really quickly. Alright, so we're going to go for the kill on the auto turret soon. That's going to be the play. Anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this episode. We're about 30 minutes in anyway. Actually, a little bit less. Uh, again, the, the phone call and all that. But I am out of time for recording today, and I got some much-needed sleep, so I should be ready, eager, excited, and just, like, fired up for tomorrow's recordings. It's going to be fantastic and wonderful and sweet, sweet, nice, and all that great stuff. So if you guys enjoyed, well, stick around. There'll be plenty more of XCOM 2 on the Freak Show channel. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>